These are the current light fixtures in my kitchen and I want to upgrade them to a more modern look. But I want to avoid buying new ones so I'm going to refinish my light fixtures and change the light covers to give it a new look. The first step is to remove the light fixture but before doing that I had to turn off the breaker. Nope, that was not it. Nope, <laughs> that one either. Oh, there you go, you got it. Yay! <laughs> is it necessary to always remove the light bulb first? Um, yes, because otherwise you can't take the thingy off. Whatever. Is that the, the technical term for that thing? Thingy, yes, that's the right name for it, thingy. How do people with big hands do this? <laughs> it moved by itself. <laughs> by the way, I have never removed or replaced a light fixture before. So wish me luck. No, I've actually seen my dad do it a thousand times. That doesn't mean I'm gonna do it right. Aha! Okay. I marked the wires with blue tape to make sure I wire them back the same way. They normally like color coded. Yes, but these are not. To be safe, I'm just labeling them so I can put it back exactly the way it was. And then I'm also capping them so that way, if we do need to turn the breaker back on, they're safe. I cannot untwist this one. Do you need help? Hmm. Yeah, if you're not good, that's fine. Oh, I can take the whole thing off and we can try to. Wait, you got it? Something moved. Hold on. Oh, there you go. Oh, oh nice. <laughs> you just gotta talk to it the right way. <laughs> All right. Well, your turn, Miss Electrician. After I took the light fixtures down, I cleaned them with the greaser. Then I taped the parts that I didn't want the paint to get on like the light socket, but I left part of the socket exposed because it will be visible and I want the color to match. So before painting, I used clean metal primer. I also like to attach a spray can holder because it helped me spray more evenly and avoid drips. Priming is important because it creates a bonding surface for the paint to stick to. It's tempting to skip this step and get straight to painting, but I want a long lasting finish and I don't want the paint to scrape off in the future. It's also important to do light coats and keep about six to eight inches of distance and keep moving around while spraying to avoid drips and bad spots so that the finish looks smooth. After following the recommended drying time for the primer, I started to paint. For the paint, I used Rust-Oleum Satin Black. And just like I did with the primer, I did a light coat, and after it dried, I did a second coat. And by the way, I totally forgot the paint cap, so I had to come back and do that. So I'm ready to put them up. We got the breakers down. Oh, what was I gonna say? You got the breakers off. Off. Okay, well, we'll the skip that part. The breakers are still on. <laughs> <laughs> The breakers are still up, they're just off. They came out pretty good. I'm actually pretty happy with how they came out. But next time, I might try the matte finish. I did satin, uh, because the satin is not really supposed to be that shiny, it just has a little bit of shine to it. But next time I'm gonna try matte. I think matte would look a little bit better. Part of the socket needed touch up because it's visible from the light fixture, so I used the black Sharpie to touch it up. I like the look of modern and industrial light fixtures, so I picked these for my new light covers.
Yeah, I'm glad I painted the edge of that because see that that edge would have definitely shown. the light bulb. No. Why are you rubbing it? Are you trying to turn it on? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> my fingerprints are all over it and they're very visible because this thing is so clear so I'm just I'm, I'm cleaning it. So. I went and got vintage style light bulbs with a smoke finish and this is how the light fixtures turned out. If you would like to see 10 ways I upgraded my kitchen without renovating, click on the next video on the screen and I'll see you soon.